Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play a little bit more of EU4 as Scandinavia. No longer Norway. I'm a bit saddened by that, but it happens. What to do with all this money? Never did build the Fine Arts Academy. The glorious monument. I don't even think it's necessary. We, we always have 100 prestige. Just from being at war. No, instead I think we're going to build a couple more manpower structures. We're going to go to Province Overview. Skein or Holstein, I think, were the last ones that we did that with. Hamburg. And of course it's Diplo Power. I should know. Should have known. So we're rocking 3 stability, 100 prestige, almost 100 legitimacy. We have 143,000 power men. 143,000 manpower cap. We can build new ships. Which is probably the next thing we need to do. We're pretty low on force limits, both. Well, I guess this could be better. We have a lot of light ships. Didn't we just unlock a, a new thing, the war galleon? Yeah, we did. We should build some war galleons. get 10 of them for good measure. Actually, let's just go right up to the force and let's get 12. 12 big old newfangled things. And our explorer has just died. We can't afford to get a new one because we have no dipple power. Come on, call us in. I don't like that you're losing. I want to come in and return, like reverse the war for them. Just do awesome. An alliance offer from Flanders. Maybe. Are you willing to accept vassalization? This is so dumb. Scandinavian base tax compared to Flemish. We have a base tax of... nearly 400. What's yours? You have one, two, you have five provinces. Eight base tax, eight, nine... I mean, you have pretty high base tax in each province, but overall, it's way higher for us. I don't think there's anything we can do to make them peacefully accept vassalization. Nope. You can count on more coalition wars. Coalitions are smaller now. And forming Scandinavia did not make our aggressive expansion go away, which is something I was kind of hoping for. That's okay. New Norway. Call us in. <laughs> and why, are, why is Scandinavia... Oh, these are just colonies. Okay. Okay. Just, just getting a little confused there. I thought maybe it was... Look at that. There's natives, but no aggressiveness. It's completely free colonization. Should have done that a long time ago. I don't even know what to do with all this money. I pretty just wanna pretty much just wanna keep on making manpower structures. Maybe we build some of the basics up here. We've already got you know, some armories would be fine. I think armories would be really good in like really low manpower places, just because it gives you some bonus. But like the goods produced and stuff in the barracks. Whatever, I'm just gonna build barracks. Because I wanna I wanna be able to train stuff anywhere. Instead of just a few provinces. Just spent all of our money. 
which is fine. That is what money is for. France just does not want to give up. Hey, England is threatening our trade. Well, let's see. I know I probably should have learned this lesson already, but I'm pretty sure that if we do declare war on them, that the coalition members will get involved, even though we have a truce with them. This would give us the opportunity to possibly separate peace Flanders and make them into a vassal forcibly. Maybe. Their base tax might be too high for that. It's 4% war score per base tax, and I think they have more than 25 for sure. I don't really know. So it says that they will call upon the coalition members of Brandenburg, Bohemia, Hesse, Bavaria, and Austria. Well, let's go for it. We're going to do the cleansing of the heresy seems superior. And yes, even though they have truces, we did get Austria, Bavaria, Brandenburg, everyone involved. And that's fine. I don't know that New Norway can actually call me in to their war anymore. actually don't want to go siege any of this land. We're going to ignore the colony for the moment. <clears throat> so England is still the war leader, and they haven't yet called in Flanders, but they will. There they are. Flanders, we can separate peace. So we're going to want to, to try to piece them out separately. But let's, um, let's bring these guys back. Let me dock them. Somewhere around here. We're going to have Magnus come down here and go blow some stuff up. And we need to let our manpower recover. Just kidding. Unfortunately, Connect is losing ships because they're dumb. We don't actually have an explorer right now, so this navy is a little bit slower than it should be. Relative strength of the alliance is actually very close already, and I think we're going to have no trouble at all, even though it's a big coalition. most of the armies here. But we can't really safely get down there. We might have to do a series of transports, transportations. That might even be more important than the other thing. Ugh. Time at sea, open sea. Please don't die. There we go. Home waters. Okay. Our Scandinavian fleet will blow up their heavies with trans with light ships. Pretty straightforward. We don't even need heavies. I don't even know why I'm building them. We should just have a complete light ship fleet. Alright, so these 24... We're going to forcibly dock here. And... As soon as we can, we're going to try to get Magnus down there. The other commander should still be in charge. Daniel Torgerson is not bad. These guys have a 3-3. We do have access to this army this time.
Boom. Curse you and your discipline. And it looks like pretty much no matter what we do, we're going to see a river crossing. So we just have to take this fight. Our superior commander kind of makes up for it. Alright, so we have landed. Um, I want to pick up more men before we take that army on. If possible. Let's go ahead and allow them to attach to this army. So that this little stack isn't useless. How are we doing? We're winning, as expected. And that is quite a bit of artillery, right? Nope, it's just infantry. They haven't had a chance to replace their artillery yet. Nice. And do we want to chase down anything else? I don't think so. Not for the moment. Let's let's go up here. Got some of our heavies coming online. And England is trying to blow up that fleet. Magnus Nonsen! No! <laughs> you were the best! No, there goes Magnus! Okay, fine, let's just hire a new one. 5-4, not bad. Bjorn! I was hoping to use Magnus one more time. So the 6-4 six, six, is actually probably our best guy now. 6-4, four, 5-4, four. yeah, he is. This guy is just garbage. Let's hire a new one. Sorry, we never used you. You're kind of garbage. Hey, and a three siege guy. So we'll actually keep him. Because he'll be useful for sieges. And it looks like we're a bit spread too thin now to try to control all of the potential cardinals. So what we want from this war... First off, we're going to attach and come down here, get a huge army. And then once we have the whole thing down here, we'll go smash this stuff. They might siege Cambry. But I can't imagine that the, uh, oh, nope, they've, uh, actually gotten stronger. So somebody's rebuilding. You know, what we should have done is put that siege commander in charge. Ah, we have friendly territory here that we can do it. Alright, so we're losing control of all these guys. Let's, uh, let's take this one from Portugal because he's younger. And what I want from this war is I want to separate piece Flanders, if I, if I can, turn them into a vassal. Or, if possible, somehow I just want to make Haynut bigger. Six four four. I'm gonna keep that income high. Can't let it go down. And let's go beat him up.
I see no reason at this point to not take this whole fleet. We'll leave the one war galleon there to protect that straight, but then we're going to move these new ones out and blockade all of England. The governor of also Norway has suddenly died. Send a bureaucrat. Alright, so we got all these guys here. That one's actually at 35%. So we're going to detach a siege, move forward, get everyone together on that province down there. Just completed our mission. Claim Pelum. Pel Pelium. We're maintaining our diplomat here. Seems pretty reasonable. I don't think England ever had a chance to rebuild their navy. Alright, now we'll move forward. Should be a good fight. We can take a crossing penalty, but Daniel Torgensen, with his six fire advantage, is going to rock. Look at that, 14 minus one. So it's just cannons. Bam. And while we're here, let's put that other commander in charge of this. Let's go ahead now and carpet siege. So we're going to send one that way. One there and one here. And then we need to get something on Zealand as well. And the good siege guy, Berger, I think I'd actually like to move onto that one that's about to fall. See if we can get that to happen first. Okay, so let's spread out. They took Lothian pretty quick. fairly fast. Move on to Zealand now, which needs more artillery. The fort level is just that, so we need 10. That will not quite be 10, so we need a couple more artillery. That ought to do it. Okay. Alright, well, I'm going to take a break here. And I think in, in the next video, we'll see. Uh, we're going to feed some stuff to connect. And then, I don't know. I feel like the, I mean, I don't know, I'm torn. Like, I like the colonization. I like, I don't like how they haven't called me into their war. They did it in the past. But, um... I mean, we're in third place, and if you look at the score, we're about to be second place. We're about to pass up France. We're doing fantastic. We have the highest income. Well, we have the highest admin score. We don't technically have the highest income right now. The Ottomans make more than we do, but not for long. And so, you know, it's just for the next couple hundred years, it's just blobbing out, and uh, the challenge is really gone. I mean, we can already fight off complete coalitions, so we'll see. I think I'm going to end this war and then probably call the series. So, all right, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.